Now we can see our workspace, for this video we're going to focus our attention on the layers panel seen on the right. This is where layers are stored in Photoshop and acts as a hierarchy basis, meaning that if one layer is on top of another, that will be shown in our canvas as well. Let's look at some of the options we have in our layers panel. First of which is the plus icon. This will create a new layer in our document. It will insert above our locked background layer and be called layer 1. Now we have an editable layer, it's good to know that we can delete that layer using the trash can icon in the bottom right. This can also be done by pressing delete on your keyboard. It's important to consider good organisational workflow in Photoshop. When working with lots of layers, the panel can quickly become confusing if you don't name and order your layers. To name a layer, double click and add a name. For this example I'm going to call it 001. We will then add a new layer and name it 002. As our selected layer, shown by the grey box, was layer 001, 002 will be inserted above. Now we have two layers, we can look at the group tool. Moving in one more from the add layer button, we can see the folder icon. This will add a group to the layers panel. It's labelled as group 1 and has a drop down menu. Currently, there is nothing inside this group. By clicking and dragging the layer, we can add the layer inside the group. In this example, we'll add 001 and then add 002. By holding shift on the keyboard and clicking multiple layers, you can quickly add layers to a new group. Click the folder icon again, or use Ctrl G once selected to make your new group. Now we are familiar with the layers panel, let's look at adding an image to our canvas. 